Coming to you from Studio 703, a show for students, by students. This is Bronco TV. Hey there, Broncos. Welcome to another episode of Bronco TV. I'm Aiden. And I'm Mars. Listen up. We have a really intense storm coming in right now. It's coming in from the west coast and it's making its way towards the midwest. You know, according to my approximations, we have about a year of this storm, so you better stock up on food. What are you looking at? The rain, the map. The storm. Going up, it's oh. Yeah. Be ready, Broncos. There's so much going on this month to watch out for and participate in. Despite the rain, students still came to check out the clubs that Arby has to offer. ASB campaigns have started. Look out for the election announcement on Monday. Our orchestra took a visit to Sacramento for the California All-State Music Education Conference. Students around the campus celebrated Kindness Week by spreading kind messages to their teachers. Our Powder Puff team fought a hard battle aiming for victory. Powder Puff is just really to get kind of a good competition going between the juniors and the seniors. It's also a great way for just school spirit, especially if like we have the students come out to the games. I just have a lot of fun. I think it's great to just go out there, you know, play against some girls, have some fun little flag football going on, and it being a senior memory in our yearbooks, and just to have something to look back on in the future. This month, we celebrate Black History, and BSU is working hard to spread awareness on our campus. So my overall goal for the club is for people to have a safe place on campus, and just to build a sense of community with other people, it's for everyone to join together and have a sense of community where they can feel like they're part of a family. We talk about microaggressions and racism as well, but it's not like only heavy-handed topics. We also talk about film or sports and all kinds of things, just so that it's not just like a, a place where people feel like they're learning about only racism or microaggressions. It's supposed to be a safe place for people. Students can celebrate Black History Month, I think a myriad of different ways. I think one way is to just engage in if there's any activities on their campus. Sometimes it could be cultural things. So that could be something like, you know, if they've never been exposed to music that come from black Americans or black culture. It makes me really happy because I know that when I was in middle school, I didn't have a community that I have now in high school. So I hope that I'm able to give other people a safe space that I didn't have. Well, the ASB elections are coming up. Are you voting? I sure am. I'm actually getting ready to cast my vote right now. And I'm not even 18 yet. Can you believe it? Wow. Awesome. Our campus offers a variety of social science courses that aim to educate students about life skills essential for post-graduation. I think the main thing is really to think critically about our society and the world that we live in. The rights and privileges that we possess as citizens of this country, nothing else is going to matter as much as far as I'm concerned. Looking at history, looking at society, looking at the issues that are relevant today, and they make decisions for ourselves in how we become informed about those issues. I hope they're actually, you know, trying to figure out who they want to vote for potentially, um, issues that are important to them. It's been really nice to know what's going on and how to like look at stuff and actually know what it is. Now that I'm a senior, I'm almost 18, I'll be voting in the next election, so I'm really grateful that I actually know who I'm voting for and I, I know what I'm doing. It's really, really relevant to what you guys are dealing with today. Now that I know what this stuff really, like, literally is, I can form opinions much, much, in a much more educated way. I love seeing um, when students think about things in different ways. I like seeing students get it. Young, bright minds who have so much potential. My takeaway has always been, we're okay. Like, generation to generation, like, the kids that have left here, we're, we're, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Have you seen girls' water polo? Yeah, they're crushing it. And don't forget about boys basketball too. They're absolutely destroying it. I guess you could say they're... Aiden? Aiden? Yeah, yeah? What happened? I couldn't think of a pun. <laughs> okay. 
Hey Broncos, the winter season is in its final stretch and girls water polo is fighting to keep going. I have a saying in my coaching career, trust the process. You're not going to get anything for free. Like You have to earn everything you get. And I haven't seen them quit one time this year. They've been very, very tough. As a team captain, I've learned how to get through challenges. I want to leave behind a legacy of hard work and determination. I bring out the best in myself and the girls by showing that I'm respectful. And as a team, I want us to push ourselves as much as we can to be the best that we can. They've shown me what good teamwork and being a good teammate and being friends with the people on your team can lead to being a very competitive water polo team. They had to work hard for a while, and now we're starting to reap some of the results of that hard work. We are three. One, two, three. Boys basketball is closing out their season while looking into the future. Uh, we have a younger group that is getting a lot of val valuable experience along the way. In a lot of ways, I would say they've faced a different type of adversity. I think they've figured out how to grow in certain areas a lot faster and have the mentality where every single day is, is an opportunity to grow. I definitely want to leave a winning legacy behind um, and just like a legacy of positivity as well. Everyone keeping their heads up. We're just like a closely knit group and we do a lot together outside of basketball. I think that's our greatest strength is our ability to know each other, love each other, and play together. I'm really excited about the future and the talent as well as ultimately we know we're building for something bigger than just today. I can't wait for Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, what are you guys doing? We're gonna go to the beach, get dinner. It's gonna be so romantic, I'm so excited. Nice, nice. What are you doing? I... Oh, uh, do you not have a date? Um, not, not, not yet. Well, I do have a date, so. Wait, so what happened? Kelly asked me out this afternoon. Biology Kelly. Yeah, we're going to Tutti Frutti at three. Oh, that's great. What is it? Well, Emma also asked me out. And so did Charlotte. So how'd the rejection go? Well, that's the thing. No, you're going on off three? Well, I didn't know what to say. I froze up. I had no clue what to do. What are you gonna do? Well, they're all different times, so it'll work out. Hey, Xander, so tonight I'm not free until 3.30, so can we be then? Because I saw my little brother. Thank you so much. I'll see you next day. Is he still going to work out? Well, Ke Kelly at 3, Charlotte at 3.30, I'm at 4. It's fine. I'll figure it out. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me here. Hi, of course. <laughs> so, what flavor of ice cream do you recommend? Oh my god, cookie dough is my favorite. <laughs> And then she told him that her favorite animal was a dog, <laughs> and it was so basic. <clears throat> uh, I just remembered, I have to go get something on my car. I'll be right back. Okay, no problem. Hey. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Oh my gosh, that is so crazy. I can't believe he did that. I know, it's crazy, right? Um, I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Okay. Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. What is this? I was walking to return your phone and I saw Kelly and I asked her, what are you doing here? She's on a date with you. But wait, he's on a date with me. Yeah, me too. Why would you do this? Look, I panicked. I'm leaving. Me too, here's your phone. Me three. Bye. I can't believe this. Hey, are you okay? I messed up, that's all. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll work itself out. I hope so. I'm Jenna. I'm Xander. So, what'd you do? I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this new installment in the series known to us as the Bronco TV News Channel. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and, and subscribe. subscribe.
food boil. I want that, one. That is gonna be me one day. I want one so bad. We have a really serious storm on our hands here, you know? No, don't. Stupid, stupid, stupid! <laughs> well, you know, I do have a date. <laughs> Dad, well, you know, I do have a date. <laughs>